In the next two minutes, you'll learn the do's and don'ts to setting up, filming, and editing your green screen videos. Don't go anywhere. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Filming with the green screen is getting easier and easier. Anyone can do it, but before you get started, I want to share with you some do's and don'ts to help you get the best results. Ready? Start the timer. There are many ways to set up a green screen, but the most cost-efficient way is with a green fabric. If you are using a green fabric as a DIY green screen, then make sure you steam or iron it out. Whether you are taping it to a wall or hanging it off a rack, don't leave any wrinkles. Wrinkles will make lighting the green screen a nightmare, and uneven lighting will leave you with shadows and disappointing results. What you should also do is pull the green screen tight so you get a seamless background. The better you do with the setup, the easier it will be to key it out later. It doesn't matter how nice your green screen is, if you don't light it properly, you won't get good results. When lighting a green screen, be aware of these things. Make sure there's at least 6 feet of space between you and your green screen so you're not casting a shadow that cannot be keyed out later. Remember, any shadow on the green screen is bad. The lighting on the screen should be flat, even, and one-dimensional, meaning don't place the screen leaning at an angle because that'll make it harder to light evenly. Do light yourself and your background separately. This will ensure your subject wouldn't bleed into the green, which will create a halo around them after you key out the green screen. And lighting on your subject should emulate the lighting from your final footage. For example, if you know sunlight is coming from the left, light your subject from that direction. Once your footage is good to go into Filmora 9, import it into your timeline, then double click it to find the chroma key menu. But don't stop there. Clicking the chroma key button is not enough to guarantee perfectly keyed footage, so do play around with the offset, tolerance, edge thickness, and edge feather dials, and adjust it to make sure your edit looks as good as possible. And those are some quick do's and don'ts for creating great green screen videos. What will you use green screen to create next? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, and if you want more video editing tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one, keep creating.